you know we are in bear country. Yeah. Dude, anybody bring bear spray? Yeah, I got it right here, Mr. AK-47. <laughs> Bam. You know what, that's actually, that's, that's probably even, yes, I like that noise. Yes, we have all the bear protection in the world. Yeah, actually, it's not a bad choice for out here. Well, we got Matt Rattle here, too. It's really two trains of thought and survival, call it the caveman approach. You know, those are the guys that, they live outside for a living. That's what they do, that's where they stay. Matt, he lived in a pit house for the last 10 years. Basically, a hole you dig in the side of a mountain, got a dirt floor like an Indian, and you live outside. He can throw a couple I'll spears, and when the bear's still when coming, I will, fail. I will do my best to protect us. Well, all I got to do is outrun you three guys. All right, what do you want to do this, bro? The other train of thought is the military approach, which is to have a general understanding of what you need to watch out for. And, you know, at the end of the day, I can out-travel Mother Nature. And the ability to think outside the box and solve problems and have solutions that other people wouldn't think of. Bro, that's good. That's really solid. That's a solid assault rifle work. Right Who there. wants to get some? Those are two general trains of thought. John kind of falls in the middle of that spectrum in that he teaches survival for a living, and he's also a militarily trained guy.